It's really neat when a guy that works as hard as Lance works delivers the goods in a game like that. And uh, his day started down there in the bullpen. We got Whitaker throwing bullpen. Whitaker's ready to go. Um, Jamie Arnold's got to throw a pen. Marlowe's got to throw live. And he's catching this. And there are people that I've been around that aren't so willing to cooperate and do those things way before a game. And it's hot in that cage, and he's down there just not just catching it to catch it, but he's working on it. And then to end up in the game, it was so neat that it actually played out for him to get two chances. And one of the hardest hit balls we had, their, their second baseman made a beautiful diving play up the middle. I thought he won the game, was that the ninth inning? I thought he won it there. And then the pick, that's not an easy, there are some picks that, that every first baseman at this level should, should pick. That was not one. Like his, his lower body extension and staying online with the glove and getting through it. It was a nice play by Lodice, but it could have been a mess if you don't handle that ball at first base. And he did. And to, to hit the ball down the line, it's really cool for a kid that hasn't had many chances. And he understands that. We talked about it yesterday. We, there's a lot going on, and he deserves to play. And the team is performing. Today was his moment. You know, and I'm happy for him. We were not sharp early. I, I felt like that was the worst early game sequence and energy. And we don't have energy talks, and but we focus talk. And, and I don't know that the focus for the first part of that game was where it needed to be. And um, we didn't string consecutive good at bats together till there were a few early. I think maybe um, Williams and Ross, but it was hard to count until later in the game, some back-to-back -back good at-bats. And I think that's a concentration thing. Um, the pitching, we went through a lot of guys, and you could think through what we were trying to do to, to get out of some messes to keep this thing in striking distance because I felt like it was on the verge of not being there. And we just weren't, weren't crisp, I thought, until Ox went in. And he actually provided, I think, a little spark with the strikeout. That might have been Brewer. I, I can't remember who he struck out, but it was a really deep at bat and punched him out. And that seemed to almost ignite us a little bit. And um, Abraham did a nice job. Like he, he landed some really good secondary pitches. The changeup was in play. And the fastball's got enough that he can, he can sneak that by people. So he, he deserved to, to finish that thing the way he did. But proud of, any, more than anything else, Lance. Like it's a team. It's a team win and it's a team loss if you lose a game, but that moment and the back end of that game revolved around his performance and opportunity. And Jay Will had a good game, and so did Deanna. So it was neat for those guys to have a chance at deliver. You've talked a lot this year about there's more guys in this team that deserve opportunities. Yeah. And when they get the opportunity and go and capitalize on it, just how good is that to see? It's great, and it is a reflection on have you put in the effort and the time, and are you engaged with your work so that when your time comes, like you're executing the way you have prepared yourself to execute. It can work the other way, too. If you're not doing those things and you're not diligent and engaged with what you're doing to try to prepare, even if that's batting practice, your cage work, our practice routine, the pregame stuff, it catches up to you. So it's either going to show itself or it's going to bite you. And today you saw all three of those guys show that their work is on point and, and they had some good moments to reflect on and deliver. How much more comfortable do you feel like Lance has gotten at first throughout, throughout this year after coming in as kind of a catcher and an outfielder last year? He's good over there. Like, he's good. There's still some things that we work on and he does it every day. And we're, I'm trying to help him. I hit him ground balls every day. And the progression is really good, and he's athletic. And you could see it. Like, the play down the line was not an easy play that he got to and handled, and then clearly the the pick wasn't. And he handled the bunt play beautifully. And that's tough. When that guy that can really run shows late and pushes it, it's a little scramble for the second baseman at times. But Lance did it just right. That was not a play where he could, he could tag the runner. That could have been dicey. You may not get an out. He's solid. He's athletic. He can play the outfield. And, and Clearly, he's taken the first base and does a really nice job. And he's gonna, he's just gonna continue to learn and grow with it. And he's physical enough where that, that ball comes off his bat. But it was good for him today. It's a, it's a good teaching moment for the guys. You know, 
it's a long extra innings game as we near the postseason. Do you think this is good to get this kind of experience in a game like this? That was really good, and that was on the verge of being really bad because we played as bad the details of it today. I know the scoreboard would say, like, no errors, and, but there were things that we did that just were not good enough. To, that's not championship-level baseball that we played, and I was really frustrated, and I feel the card in my back pocket is full, and I didn't go through all that tonight, but it just wasn't crisp. And I, I, don't, I don't know why that was, but it was to then rebound a little bit and actually rally and, and come from behind and win an extra in game, it's huge. And everybody was involved in that. Like if you were able today really to participate, there were very few left that did. A little bit of uneven performance from Ben and, and Yoel, but do you, do you hang on to the good stuff and then try to build on that? I think Ben's getting there. Um, the o, this all started with an 0-2 pitch. I believe there were two outs, and he had a chance to put one of those right-hand hitters away and didn't get it where it needed to go, and the ball was in right center field. Then they run the bases, and we talk about controlling the run game, your times to the plate and your variation and holds and looks needs to be good, and they got exposed. We got exposed a little bit with that today. So I was pleased with what I saw, but by the end of it, I was a little disappointed that it wasn't more crisp and, and the control of the running game with a team that likes to run. If you're going to wipe people out, then the run game, that's, okay, if somebody steals a bag, so be it. But that's not how this was, was going today. And kind of the same thing with Yoel. Um, I think the stuff is getting better. I think Yoel's still getting comfortable with what he's doing when he's out there, especially in the, the middle part of these tighter games. Um, so. I think it was positive, but there are things that have to be better to really execute and deliver in these type of moments. Connor, a guy you think they go from the rip or somebody you probably want to bring out of the bullpen this week? I think right. bullpen. I think I think bullpen, and he's done that here. I, I like him in that. He he seems to come in and throw strikes, and he's going to control the run game and field his position. So he's fine, and he's got the change up in the breaking ball. So whether it's a righty or lefty, you don't feel like there's a matchup concern. You trust the guy. Now, pitch count wise, I, I, we're not ready to just turn him loose. So we'll have to manage it. But I think his progression back is, is well on its way. As optimistic on Cam or still? No, no, we're, we're still fighting that one a little bit. I'm optimistic, but it's, it's not at the point of like we're moving him into the game this weekend. But we're better, like it's, it's better. So. Would you say that pinch hitting Jackson today was more so giving McGuire a rest or was it a spark the offense kind of move? Was it a little bit of both? I think it was spark the offense. I could tell I, McGuire's giving us tough at bats, but he was getting frustrated with his at bats and Jackson's over there with a left-handed look and I just thought the game was telling me it was time to, to make that maneuver. Right or wrong, I just I felt it. I wasn't really doing it for rest. I just felt like the game, you kind of listen to what the game's telling you. You're not always right, but I just I thought we needed to try that. Still one more? No more. Okay. Thank you. Fellas, thank you for sticking out. Yeah. Thanks, Coach. Sure. Sure.